Hi everyone, I'm Carrie Petrunik, your evolutionary astrologer. What's going on in the sky today? Venus moves into Gemini this evening, just after 8.30 Mountain Time. Venus is the planet of relating to self and to others. But it is not simply the impulse to pair up. That belongs more to Juno. Venus is about creating equilibrium, a state of balance within and without in all our relating. So Venus and Taurus has been pulling us al along with the help from the North Node and Uranus to find unconditional peace, to find that equilibrium in all our relating in unconditional peace. Now Taurus offers some solutions to finding that peace Spending time in nature, listening to music, engaging the creature comforts like your favorite chair and a cup of tea. While Venus is on the last degree of Taurus today, spend some time relishing those things that give you peace. But recognize that they are not the cause of peace. Rather, they allow you to slow down and discover the unconditional peace within. We can't make our peace dependent on conditions. And that's the danger with Venus and Taurus. On, our, on this degree in particular, we lose our spontaneity if we get attached to those conditions that seem to bring about an inner feeling of peace. Rabindranath Tagore said, the sparrow is sorry for the peacock at the burden of its tail. On this last degree of Taurus, Venus is the peacock. If your attachment to the conditions that allow you to become aware of peace are mistaken for peace, you'll clip your own wings. So if you'd like to try and experience unconditional peace without conditions, sit in awareness and become aware of you. And then bring in unconditional peace. Now you can use a memory of a time where you felt very, very peaceful, where you felt unconditional peace to help put you in, the in touch with that experience. So some people, when they sit in awareness with unconditional peace, Feel it as a sensation emanating within. Some people see it as a light, a blue light coming down and filling them up. So spend some time sitting in unconditional peace until there's no separation between you and unconditional peace. And the more you practice this, the more you'll be able to maintain peace, even when the conditions around you are not so peaceful, when you don't have your comfy chair or you're in the middle of a city instead of out in nature. And this will help you to listen better, also a function of Venus. And when Venus moves into Gemini tonight, it will be necessary to be in a place where you can listen and hear, even what is not on the surface. So when you're resting in unconditional peace, you grow in wisdom and compassion. You can hear better. You can know what others cannot find the words to express, what's lying beneath the surface. Your communication improves. You're a better listener. You are alert and highly competent to handle anything because you are resting in unconditional peace. Have a good day, everyone. I'll be back again for what's going on in the sky today. Bye.